Welcome back to another episode of Opinions absolutely nobody asked for. Today, I felt like making a tier list for the Fire Emblem Three Houses characters because I just finished the uh, Blue Lion Drew. And I wanted to make a video on, you know, my opinions on the game as a whole, but I didn't want to look like a jackass because I technically didn't finish all the, all the routes. So I'll save that for another time. I'm going to mostly rank the Blue Lions characters like definitively in this video since I did their route and I know them like the best, right? I don't want to really talk about the characters that I didn't recruit, right, from other houses because I don't know them very well and it wouldn't be fair to just rank them like a shit tier list because I never talked to them. But I will be ranking the ones that I recruited and I rec on my first run I recruited like eight people and so I'm going to be talking about those and how I feel about them. So yeah, let's get started. First, we have a Byleth. I chose male Byleth. Yup, crazy, I know. B tier. Next, we got Dimitri. King. Literally a king. King. He's an S tier character for me. I really liked his growth as a character. I didn't even like Dimitri, like, right off the bat, right? The only reason I went with Blue Lions in the first place was because I was told it was the best story, but Dimitri seemed like the most boring out of the three. And at first, I was like, I don't really... I don't know how I feel about this guy. It's kind of boring. But then, man, he just grows on you. He's such a nice guy. I really like his presence. You know, he's so, like, considerate and tries his best to be a king. You know, live up to the standard he, he, he has for himself. And I really enjoy that about him. He's a nice guy. He obviously, you know, has this really deep, tragic backstory. And it complicates him a lot as a character, which I like. And seeing his growth throughout, really good. I, Dimitri, for me, definitely one of my favorites. Definitely an S-tier character for me. Next we got Dedu. Oh, come on. Don't you know Dimitri may be a king, but Dedu, even kinglier. I think he's my favorite character in the game. Like I love Dedu. He is he hurts my heart every time I see him. He is adorable. You know, the fact that he's like a beast and like you know his height? He's like six, 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 eight, like around there. Like he's a monster. And like he likes knitting in his spare time, and he's a good chef. I love how loyal- like, he's not only loyal to Dimitri, but he's like a parent. Like, you know, he's like, Dimitri, it's cold. Where's your sweater at? And seeing how he doesn't necessarily see D Dimitri as an equal, right? Like, you know, it's like, Dimitri's always like, yo, call me Dimitri, we are friends. And the dude's like, I cannot see you as a friend because you are- I, like, I hold you in this such high s esteem that it's just- I don't feel that- I can't. I physically cannot. And it's just so- Ah, oh, man, like, his backstory is so good, too. Like, the way it makes sense that he doesn't see Dimitri in that way, right? Also, oh, that one moment with Felix, that support story where he's like, Yep, I'll kill- I'll do anything. I will literally anything for Dimitri. Tell me, would you give your life for him? Yes. And what if he commanded you to join him in a senseless massacre? I would do it. Even a massacre of children, or the elderly, or your own comrades. Without hesitation. Like, that was raw. That literally gave me goosebumps. I'm sure most people agree, I feel like he's a popular character, but he is great. Next we got Felix. Felix, I'm gonna put- he's a good character. I really like him, but not as much as the other two. I'm gonna put him in A tier for now. And by for now, I mean for the rest of the video. See, the thing about Felix is he's an asshole, you know? He is such an asshole. And at first, he was so edgy, and it was funny, you know? Like, the way he was just, like, so out of pocket with every character. Every support conversation he had was to start beef. Hello, Felix. I see you're here to train as well. Go away. Just looking at your face makes me want to wretch. I know that I'd attempt to stop them. Stop bothering with all this. You're not meant to be a knight. Go find a husband. Everyone just wants to hang out with him and he's just like... No! You know, like, I want to see his his support, like, conversations. Just because I want to see how Felix is going to be an asshole. And it's kind of funny. And you found out more about him, his backstory. It's actually pretty tragic. Um, and it's more tragic than I thought it was initially. But... He's still an asshole. He's such an asshole that it's just like, it's hard to make to, for him to be truly, truly likable. Because he's such a dick all the time, but I see where he's coming from. I wish he had more of a growth in the story itself. Like, I feel like, you know, he was, I was so curious about him in the beginning. And he had, like, so much potential to be, like, a really big part of the story. But I feel like in the end, like, he didn't end up being that integral, in my opinion. So, yeah, he's, he's good. An asshole, but he's good. Next we have Ash. Ash, by far the biggest push I've ever seen 
in this game, maybe in my life. He was so- he is so boring, man. Like, this is the first character in this list I don't like. His supports were boring. I don't know if he's bad in battle, but I benched him immediately as soon as I recruited someone else. Because I just don't- like, if I don't like you as a character, definitely you're not getting any playtime. Like, I- I- I kinda respect the idea, you know, he wants to be a knight. And he's really, you know, he's an orphan, right? Lonato, yeah, Lonato, I love you, Lonato. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't care, Ash. Shut the hell up, Ash. It's just, he's not really funny. He's not charming. He's not like a good character. He's boring. I don't, he's a puss. I don't like him. I'm sorry, Ash. Not, definitely not one of my favorite characters. Next, we have Sylvain. Dude, Sylvain. S tier. Yeah. Dude, at first, I despise Sylvain. He seemed like such a dickhead. I really didn't like him. The, the, the vibes he gave me weren't good vibes. He seemed like such a douche at first. Like, I didn't want to get to know him, but I did have support with him. Like, I was like, okay, this guy's actually not boring to listen to. So I did more. Easily, easily one of the most entertaining characters in the game. He does not have a single boring support. Like, Sylvain could talk to a wall and it'd be entertaining. Like, he has a lot of charm. And I respect that. Like, it's actually, like, really cool to see. But also, he has more death than I thought he did. Wow, like, some of the supports he has with other people and, like, you know, going into his backstory about crests and, you know, his family ties. is it, really, wow, like, it makes you understand him. Why he's such a douche. He's entertaining, deep character, funny, you know, charming. That's all you really need to be a good character. And so he's definitely up there for me. Next, we got Mercedes. Mercedes is a sweetheart, but she is like bread. She's just so boring. She, I can't, uh, when she talks, I genuinely just want to sleep. Like, I, you know, being nice is good. I like nice people. I really admire them too. I, 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 I genuinely think it's such a great trait to have to be so empathetic and kind, but it doesn't make for the most entertaining characters. Like, when she talks to others, I just get so bored. It's not, like, she's not very funny. She's not very cool. She's just, like, nice. If your biggest thing is being nice, then there's not much going for you. I did her support. Wasn't really invested in it. Yeah, she's not really a good character to me. But I don't actively despise her like other characters. Annette! Or Annie. That's what the boys... Yeah, I'm boys with Annie. I th That's what I get to call her. Solid A tier for me. I really like her. You know what? Okay, let's leave her an A for now. But Annie is great. She is such a likable character. You know, she's so energetic. She's smart. You know, she is... She's just a beast. I don't know. I like her in battle. Oh, she carried me so hard in some in some points. She's really strong. But I'm not considering that in the tier list. But yeah, yeah. Like, regardless. She's a great, great character. I liked her a lot in the beginning. Not to say I didn't like her in the middle and end. She stayed in that stable path. Like, some characters for me, whoa! Like, I really liked them towards the middle or end. You know, they grew a lot. Annie was just constantly cool, you know? And that's not not bad, but it's just like, no huge growth, no crazy, you know, moments. Just Annie being Annie. She's great. And also, best glow up in the game. Free! Next, we got Ingrid. Ingrid, I'm gonna put in the B tier. Ingrid, I like Ingrid. Kinda racist effort. Kinda racist. I... The people of Dusker... Save your breath. There were countless people like you in the capital. People who spat, threw things, insults and stones alike, whenever they pleased. She actively doesn't like the dude because he's from Dusker. And that's fucked up. The dude is my king, okay? You don't talk to him like that just because he's from not from where you're from. And she gross from it you know she i think at the end of the support she realizes that was wrong and like the dude is like actually a, a per like she begins to look at him as a person and that is a terrible support you should know this by now right like uh, it's really bad that you have to get to this point to learn that racism is bad but regardless i like her as a character i i like that she's strong you know i i respect her as a character because she's not like particularly funny or charming but she's like she is smart and I feel like would be a good leader, a good knight. And I like that about a person. Someone that, you know, has their shit together. That's how I describe Ingrid. Uh, even though she, you know, fair share of problems. But whatever, everyone in this game fucking needs therapy. But I, again, yeah, Ingrid, I think she, I, I like the character that is smart, level-headed, and like just has a good head on their shoulders. And I feel like that's what Ingrid is. Again, kind of racist, so that's why she's on the B tier. But good character overall, I'd say. Next character we got is Seteth. And you know what? Seteth begins with... 
Yup, the letter S, baby. S tier for Seteth. I really like him as a character. In the beginning, he, he was just like kind of a dighead. I don't know, I don't really like him. But then he becomes such a homie and like a homie to so many others. Um, I, he gives me Snape vibes. Is it just me? It's definitely not just me. I feel like everyone has to call him Snape by now, but like he literally is such a good character because he cares deep down, like he cares a lot about the, the main character. The, the way that relationships build throughout the game is something I really liked watching. And I thought he was so boring at first, but like he's actually really interesting to see talk to, right? Like that whole thing where he's stern and like scary to some people. It's really funny to see those interactions. And so him and Flane too, that interactions he has with Flane is really funny to me. I like that protective older sibling thing he has going on. So I like him. I really can't complain about him. Like I said, that growth he has that I really enjoyed watching it. And so for me, definitely a really good character. Next we got Flane. Flane is in, yeah, not as good as Seteth. She's on the same tier as Mercedes for the same reason, right? Like, you know, it's kind of boring. Not really, like, she's nice, yeah, and sometimes she's, like, too polite to the point where, like, literally, like, I want to sleep. And also, the swirly ice cream hair she has going on pisses me off. <laughs> it's just not a good look. I don't know. Flame is okay. Nothing crazy. Didn't really get to attached to her. C tier. Hilda! 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 Yeah, baby! I love Hilda. One of my favorite characters. I think she is hilarious. Probably one of the funniest characters in the game. Yeah! Woohoo! Fighting! I'm a little scared, to be honest. I'm just shouting to relieve the tension, but I'll be fine. And she has such a, it's like, uh, uh, such a light demeanor to her, you know, in the sense that Everyone else is so depression and sadness. Meanwhile, Hilda's like, oh shit, you know, who, who am I gonna get to carry my library books and pay my overdue fees? Like, she's hilarious. She's scheming. I think she's really funny. And like I said, lighthearted. She wasn't part of my house. So I didn't really get, I don't know how she is in her story, but you know, I recruited her and I, no regrets. I really, really liked her. Uh, beast in battle. Holy crap. What the hell? I didn't think she'd be so crazy. For someone who says they're so lazy, she's a fucking monster. At first, I was really put off by Hilda from her anime design. Like, it is the most anime design in the game. And it really, I was like, bro, I, this person's probably annoying. <laughs> but then I recruited her. Turned out to be great. No regrets. Definitely one of my favorite characters. Again, I'm putting her over here just because I like her personality rather than like her story, her growth. But a good character nonetheless. Next we got Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. I wanna put Bernie, I don't know if B, C, uh, B for Bernie. Yeah, let's put her in B. Okay, the, at first I really liked Bernie. I thought she was so funny. Like her her awkwardness, I you know, it's always a, it's always a trait that I think is hilarious. We're all alone. The perfect time. You're going to kill me, aren't you? But she takes it too far, to the point that it becomes uncomfortable and awkward, instead of endearing and funny. Like, okay, Bernie, I get it, you know, it's, it, strangers are scary, but at the same time, it's too much. It's kind of cringe at some points. Like, I, I just started my Black Eagles run, and right from the beginning, Bernie is, like, already being too much. Like, I, like, please stop. She was definitely the biggest fall for me. I liked her a lot in the beginning, definitely fell for me. By far the worst glow up in the game. Oh no. And so, yeah, not a great character for me. Next, we got Hanneman. I'm gonna put him in... B tier. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in B tier. I liked Hanneman. You know, he's a nice guy. I enjoyed his presence sometimes. I didn't like... I, like, he was interesting to talk to, but I can't talk to him for too long. You know, he... Like, I get bored if he talks about crests all day. But I like his interactions with others, right? Him and Manuela are the perfect pair. They are so funny. You know, I really, really like that, you know, difference they have going on. And so... I think they're a really interesting dynamic. Um, again, nothing crazy for me. I respect him, but eh, you know, he, yeah, may, for that, eh, maybe I should put him a little lower. Maybe I should put him high C tier. You know, I like him, nothing crazy. Next is Manuela. I really, really like Manuela. She is so funny. Like, I love, I like how she is such a hot mess. Like, so much is wrong with her. <laughs> to the point that I, I, I actually like that trope. I think she's funny. She starts out as being Titties the character. You know, she's like basically like super seductive. And it's like kind of weird at first. Like, I'm like, please get away from me. But I ended up liking her. You know, her support systems are funny. I, again, her her relationship with Hanneman is really funny. Um, 
I, I like her. I think she's great. Like, it broke my heart when I found out she doesn't get married to anyone. When that was such a, like, big point for her. She talks about it all the time. Didn't find anyone hurt my soul. But maybe it also means, you know, she grew as a character. And, you know, she didn't need no man. You know, as long as she's happy herself. And so, that's the canon I'm going with. I liked her overall. Good character. Yeah, Gilbert isn't that good of a character. I'm gonna put him in D tier. I don't really like him, you know, shit dad. Uh, overall, like in the end, he becomes relatively likable, but still so boring. I can't hear him talk for too long. Eh, not my favorite. Next we got Tomas. <laughs> More like Tomas hole. Yeah, D tier. Just cause he's, uh, eh, I didn't really like him much as a character, he's just... Kind of boring. I just included him because I thought Tomas Hall was pretty funny. In the B tier, we got Geralt, you know, fucking Chad. No wonder he's my dad, you know, it makes sense now. Uh, good character. You know, I wish I could get to know him better. You know, I feel like I don't get to know him that much very well. Uh, maybe it's the route I went with, but I feel like I don't know much about him. You know, he's just like my dad. And I didn't even think about, like, in the beginning where they ask you, like, oh, who's this guy? I was just like, like, it gives you the option to choose your father. And I chose that, like, as a joke. Because I didn't think he was my father. I thought he was, like, my bro or something. No, he's your dad. He looks nothing like you. What the hell? And I thought that was funny. But, yeah. No, Gerald is cool. Gave me so much pressure with the ring he gives me. And saying, this was your mother's. And I loved her. And she wanted you to choose the person you want to spend your life with. And and this means so much. And I want you to have it. And I want you to choose the girl you love. And that put so much pressure on me. I didn't want to, like, get married in the game. Because what the hell? That was so much pressure. I didn't want to choose anyone at that point. It's too much. But I went with Hilda anyway. Next, we got Sothis. Sothis, I'm going to put here. Just because I like her. I like... No, you know what? I like her. B tier. I like her as a character, but she's just kind of... I don't know. She's kind of there. I thought she'd be more integral to the story. Like, I interacted her with her way less than I thought I would. But she's funny. She sounds way too much like Morgana, though. That's my biggest criticism. Oh, Lysithia. Definitely one of my favorite characters. Strong, strong A tier. Oh, no, no, Lysithia. Yep, yeah, Lysithia. She, I th at first she was kind of an asshole. I didn't like her at first. But, like, she grew on me a lot. Like, I thought she has, she has so much, like, personality to her. You know, she's a boss-ass bitch. Like, she speaks her mind. And I, I like that. And I think she's funny, you know? Um, the whole, <laughs> she has the best voice line in the game. It is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I, I cackled. Yum. So, so funny. Yeah, she's just alpha as hell, you know? I, I mean, I, I didn't know how to say her name till like halfway through the game. But yeah, no, it broke my heart when I discovered that her lifespan was shortened. Dude, what the hell? That's crazy. I felt so sad. And so that was so interesting for me to see. It made me really like her and like how she doesn't give a shit about what team she's on. She just like cares the most about herself, her parents, and her, like, you know, her, I guess her territory or whatever. Like, good character. Really enjoyed her presence. Let's go, Lysithia. Next, we got Marianne. Marianne. I'm gonna put her in C tier. Maybe even D tier on it. C tier. I didn't like her much. You know, I recruited her at first because Haru voice actress. Let's go Haru. But bro, she was so... Oh, I couldn't... Like, she was just so melancholy and depression. She was so depression all the time. Like, this that, this was the most awkward face in the game. Where it was just like a blush and depression eyes. Like, it, <laughs> it made me so uncomfortable. Like, I, I didn't even like her growth much as a character. Like, I, I did her support and everything wasn't anything crazy seeing her supports with others was just uncomfortable because she's just so like sad and while i understand like you know she has a tragic backstory and everything it's just eh, no i didn't really like her sorry marianne next we got dorothea dorothea was cool nothing crazy for me uh i recruited her because you know i recruited i, re I recruited her because she was so nice to me after my after gerald died and she i was like oh my heart. Thank you, Queen. And so, you know what? For that, you're in my team. But, yeah. No, I mean, she's nice. She's cool. I didn't really think much of her, you know? No, I'm, like, pretty neutral on her. Like, she wasn't boring, but she wasn't entertaining either. Like, it's like, oh, cool, Dorothea's there, but I didn't go out of my way to do her support conversations because, I don't know, nothing crazy for me. Overall, solid. Next, we got Petra. Same thing, same tier as Dorothea. You know, it has the Starfire vibes going on. 
Um, I like her. She's nice. She's kind of funny sometimes, but, but I don't know. I didn't really get to see much of her. Just because, like, she interacts with no one in my house. What the heck? Like, only Ash and, like, maybe one other person, I think, but fucking Ash. I don't give a shit what she has to say with Ash, so I didn't even do that one. So, yeah, I don't know. She was cool. I like Bridget. You know, go. let's go Bridget. Um, yeah, I don't know. Petra really didn't do it much for me. Next we got Rhea. Piece of shit, Rhea. I was so mad because one day I found out I just couldn't do her support conversation anymore. I don't know why. The game never told me I had to do it within a certain time period. I didn't even wait that long. And I was just like, bruh, what the hell? So, yeah. Um, I didn't even get to see all her support. And, but even if I didn't, eh, like, I don't know. I didn't really like her that much. Uh, disappears halfway through the game. I, 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 maybe they talked to her more in other routes, but in the routes I was in, didn't really get to see much. Not really impressed, so bleh. Next we have this one. I forgot her name, but she shares a voice actress with Nanako and Aegis, so automatic A tier. And yeah, those are my final thoughts. These are, This is the, the, the tier for the Blue Lions house, plus some my supports, uh, and, you know, Rhea, I guess, and Tomas Hole, and Gilbert, and yeah. Some, that, some stuff that I forgot to mention was, you know, Seteth and Fleen having that crazy backstory. When I found out they were dad and, and daughter, what? Blew my mind. And also when I found out they, they're, they're secret, you know, like, they're gods or whatever. Not gods, but you know, th that was crazy to me too. That was really interesting. Doesn't make Flane any better though. But yeah, uh, these are mostly in order. S tier, definitely in order. A tier, not necessarily in order. Like these three girls are very interchangeable for me. I really like them a lot, all of them. They're really great. Actually, I think I like Annie a bit less than these two. Like I did with Hilda and, and uh, like Scythia, I did all their supports. All Like I maxed them all out because they were so interesting to see with anyone that I really just automatically did theirs. Well, I didn't do all of Annette's or Felix's because I was just like, you know, I'd much rather see other characters than you guys. Dimitri's the only one, like, if he were just a side character and weren't, like, the main guy who got so much focus, then I think he'd be lower because I didn't do all the supports with him. I did with these two. Didn't have much time for Seteth, but, yeah, Dimitri, I think just his growth in the story carries him. B tier's also not too set in stone, but I, these characters are just, like, on my, you know, they're all right. They're good, but nothing crazy for me tier. You know what? And for, actually, I, I want to put, yeah, I want to put... Uh, hand him in a little bit higher just because I liked him. You know, I he does he, he shouldn't be in this tier where, I, where they were just like, oh, I gotta listen to these characters now. That's what the C tier is for me. So I didn't really like these much. You know, they were all right, but eh, a drag to listen to. And then the D tier who were just boring. And I just like, gosh, please, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> And yeah, that's my Blue Lions tier list. Uh, I'll probably make another one for Black Eagles and then again for Golden Deer. But good game. Highly, highly recommend. You shouldn't have watched this video if you, if you, I, I'm disappointed in you if you watched this video anyway. Because there's a bunch of spoilers, but definitely a good game. Uh, Want to make a video on my thoughts on it as a whole soon, but yeah. No, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.